Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Odyssey, of course, and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay. Today we got the T-25-2. This is uh, the American Tank Destroyer Tier 7, after the very, very popular Tank Destroyer, the Hellcat. It's a Tier 6 tank, obviously, uh, so this is the big brother. I gotta say, the Hellcat is a superior tank in every single way, except for the very little gun depression that is the difference, and the Hellcat. Uh, because basically the difference between the two tanks, the 225-2 has a top tier gun that has a little bit better uh, accuracy and just a tiny bit more penetration, 170 instead of the stock 160 on the Hellcat or, or the, bed, the top tier gun on the Hellcat. Uh, but really, for some reason, this tank has been incredibly bad and boring for me to play until I got the top tier gun even though the difference between the stock gun on this tank and the top tier gun is only 10 millimeters of extra penetration I know it sounds very weird uh, because there's no extra there's, there's, you don't reload another shot quicker you're not more accurate your aim time isn't lowered you don't do more damage the only difference really between this gun and the stock gun on the T25-2 is, like I said, those 10 millimeters extra penetration, 170 instead of 160. So what's good with this tank? It has a good gun depression, you, you can definitely aim down, and I use that to my advantage a lot here. You really gotta play your tank strength, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, you got basically no armor, the sad thing about this tank is that they buff the armor compared to the Hellcat, but the armor is still so very bad that any tank can pen you from the front anyways. You won't, you won't bounce any shots on this tank except if you get hit in the mantle or, or in the turret. That's the only spots you're really gonna bounce. Or maybe if a tier 5 tank shoots you, you might be able to bounce in the front. But it's gonna be rare, trust me. And all that little extra armor makes it a lot slower than its little brother, the Hellcat. And my personal opinion is that it's not worth it. I would rather have almost no armor in the side and the front of, of the actual tank itself and, and have some armor in the turret just like the Hellcat has plus some good speed than, than be like this T25-2 is. Some armor but it's not good enough but you still lose a lot of speed. So we're down to 29 health, we got one kill and 1500 damage. Ooh, this is not good. Sure, I've done a lot of damage, but I am on the brink of dying and I'm quite afraid of this T29 pushing up and finishing me off because I sure as hell can't finish him off. He probably has... I, I, I would guess I need to hit him twice or no, maybe three times more before I kill him. But I take my advantage and uh, pick some easy shots on some other tanks in the meanwhile whilst I'm waiting. So the only thing I can really do about the T29 here is wait until he's busy with some other tanks and that's exactly what I do and pop one into him. And uh, easy penetration, I mean 170 pen, you can pen most tier 8 tanks and most tier tier 9 as well I would say. Some tier 9s though are gonna be quite difficult. The more heavily armored ones like the E75 and that kind of stuff is extremely hard to penetrate with this gun. 170 penetration isn't a lot when you get up against those guns. But so far I've done really good with a tier 7 tank in a tier 8 game. Hello there Mr. AMX5100. Boom! You are dead. <laughs> nice. So we're up to 2 kills and 2000 300 damage. I'm starting to feel really really happy with this. You can't really ask for much more than this in this tank because honestly like I said this is not a very good tank. I don't exactly enjoy it. Uh, but like I said if you play its strength you can have a lot of fun with it. Like I said good gun depression, uh, kind of playing hatch down or hold down or whatever you call it. Basically I think you call it hold down because you keep the hole kind of hidden whilst you only show your turret, because the, the turret is the only thing that can kind of bounce shots here. And the turret is very, very flat, and it doesn't really have any weak points, so you can easily do this and, and get away with a couple of hits and dinks that are gonna bounce, but if you get shot in the side, they're gonna pen you. Especially that big ammo container on the back, uh, that's where you used to store the rounds in it. At, at least, I don't know if they programmed it like that, so... 
actually the ammo will explode if you shoot there in the game but in reality that's where the rounds would be for the gunner to reach back and and grab another round and then reload it i'm focusing my fire now on the uh, t uh, type uh, 59 this is an excellent tank excellent medium tank uh, quite a good gun uh, really good uh, hole or really good turret an okay hole but the hull is so very low on the t59 that uh, you can really get away with with even some some shots towards the hole because most of the time people will miss or actually bounce anyways on it just like I did there uh, because it, it's it's so low to the ground it's so hard to hit but right there is the sweet spot thank you man awesome we're up to three kills now and three thousand damage that's almost four times as much health points that my tank have and I'm still alive so right now I'm starting to, to like get pretty ecstatic i'm like really happy at the moment spot this guy over here it's another uh what is it uh, it's the indian panzer one uh, all of the guys left now are real tomatoes so i'm thinking i ah, shouldn't be too much of an issue i put one into him that doesn't register uh, and my friendly kills him off the es3 is in a really bad spot he's just right in the middle of the open i kind of pop out and put one into him and i decide to put another one into him after i see the t Twenty five on the hill actually shoot his shots, but now I kind of notice. Okay, he's looking at me now. Uh, I'm putting one uh, just randomly towards his direction. I'm not quite sure where the hell he was. There he is. He hits me, but it's luckily in the turret and he doesn't penetrate. It bounces. I'm like, yes. Oh my god. So we kill him off. We're up to. Four kills and 3,700 damage, and the only guy that's left is the IS-3. Oh damn it! I put another one into him. I sadly miss. I noticed that he's still aiming at me, and I think that if I back up, it's probably gonna take long enough for him to kind of lose his spot on me, and I can stay in the bushes. But sadly, he gets me in the back. Oh man, I so wish I could have finished him off, but obviously my friendless finish him off, it's kind of an uneven match, uh, so quite happy with that. <laughs> get really nice here, tank sniper, first of all, don't get that that often, high caliber, uh, we get monster gunner, sharpshooter, and we also get mastery badge ace tanker, fuck yeah baby, uh, 4200 damage and 1400 XP, not too bad, also 1000 damage due to my my assistance so fucking good match indeed as usual thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day bye bye